Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Anchor. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm sharing this Snailed It card. Let me set it aside and we'll get started. For this card, we're going to start with a piece of basic white. And then I've got a mask cut with from text weight uh, paper that I've used the snow globe dies on and I've got my Pacific Point ink and Coastal Cabana ink for blending and one of the blending brushes that you can find in the January to June Stampin' Up! mini catalog. So I'm just going to pounce some ink on and then start and let's hold my mask in place. And I'm starting off the piece that I'm blending off here to the side so that if there's going to be any texture from the brush, it's over here and not on my blended piece. Oops, I'm moving this. And I'm just going to keep adding Pacific Point until I get the depth of color that I want. So let me turn the camera off and I will keep adding this and then I'll be back at the point where I'm going to add my Coastal Cabana ink. Okay, so we've got this nice intense blue here, and I want to blend in some of the Coastal Cabana. And as you can see, there's no more of the deep um, Pacific Point uh, coming off the brush. So you're not going to end up mixing your inks while the brush is stained the color doesn't uh, transfer onto your ink pad. And we're just giving the a lighter, uh, maybe let's call it a highlight here with this Coastal Cabana. And then I want to come back in one more time and blend across this with the Pacific Point where those two colors meet. And a little bit just, oops. It's a good thing my mask is almost done. Okay, and that's it. So there is our snow globe that we've blended on. Let's close up my ink pads. And then I've got one of the Stampin' Spritzers just filled with some water. And let me unscrew that. And I'm just going to tap a few dots of water on and let them react with that ink to give us some little bubbles in our... Um, our snow globe area. Let me dip that one more time and okay so I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Then next we're going to use the Snailed It bundle. That's the Snailed It stamp set and the Snail dies. These are from the January to June Stampin' Up! mini catalog and I've got a piece of basic white and the smaller snail. You can of course find all of these products in my Stampin' Up! store and there's a link for that in the description below. And please use that if you're here in the United States. Okay. 
and there's our little snail. And now let's take our Stampin' Blends and color in our snail. So for the bottom, I'm going to use Mango Melody. So let me just uncap my dark and light. And we can zoom in a little bit more here. And let's pull that over to the center-ish. Okay, so I'm going to start down the side here and along the bottom with my dark mango melody. And then I'm going to come in and blend that with my light mango melody. Let's do another little bit of dark down here. I think it's just about time for me to replace this marker. It's usually my light ones that go first. And let's get a little shading in there and then we'll come back in with the light and then I'm going to use the bullet tip up here on the eye stalks right under the eyes for the dark and then let's pull that down with the light Okay, and cap these up and put them out of the way. Need to remember to put that on my running list of things to take care of that I want to replace. Okay, so then I've got Magenta Madness and I'm just going to come in here very lightly with the dark and then start and blend out with the light. Let's come on up the, the circle here and we'll put in a little dark here at the top and then we're going to blend that back both directions. And then let's come right in here against the body with the dark. And we're just going to follow this line around a little bit. Trying to keep it darker on the outside and then a little bit lighter as we come around here so that we get some a little bit of shape to this. Just coming back and adding a little bit of shading with my light all the way around on that outside circle. And we're done with that bit of coloring. So let me cap up my Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to bring the Pacific Point ink back in. And let's stamp this heart. trying to give it a light touch so I don't cut, catch any of that edge. And I'm just going to stamp a few of these randomly down the and 
right off the edge. We'll end up cutting that off, but it's okay. And then one out here. Okay, so let me take these and do a little bit of die cutting, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my two die cut pieces, but this one I want to take my paper snips and do a little more trimming. And I do find that it's easier to do the die cut and then come in and trim the extra away. Might as well let the die do most of the work for you. Okay. And we'll leave that for the moment. And then we need to do just a little more stamping. I want the sentiment and we're going to take our snail again on the coastal cabana and stamp and then let's move this and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut the sentiment away And then let's trim this up a little nicer. So we're going to come along the bottom and go right by male and then do a little bit of shaping here and across the top. Here and then right down by the M. Okay, so there's my sentiment. Let's put my Coastal Cabana out of the way. And then I want to add a little bit of the gold leafing to the outside here. And so I'm going to take one of my blending brushes and I've got my jar of gilded leafing and I've got my multi-purpose glue, and I'm just going to draw a bead of this around the edge. I'm working slowly, as you can see. Oops. almost around okay and then I'm going to hold this over a piece of scrap text weight paper just because I think it will have less static than my craft sheet. Let's just push this on here all the way around. Okay. Now that we've got that, let's move this out of the way and I'll begin to brush this in and off. Okay, and we're going to let that dry. Okay, so here's our snow globe piece with a little bit of bling. And then I've got a Coastal Cabana card base that's cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And my piece of Whisper White for the inside layer and a little scrap piece here. And I'm going to 
add just a little Coastal Cabana blend, just checking my brush here, tap here, and then right here in the corner. <coughs> Pardon me, got a tickle in my throat. Okay, let's move that aside. And then I cut one of the mushrooms toadstools with the snail dies. And we're going to add a little multi-purpose glue to that. I'm just spreading it around. I got a little bit heavy handed here. Okay. And then we're going to use that little bit of shading so that we're not just completely white on white here. Oops, that looks better, a little straighter. And then we'll add this to the inside. And it just takes a narrow bead of the multi-purpose glue to hold your layer down. Using my grid paper to line up my base. And then I'm checking along the sides and top to make sure that I've spaced evenly. Okay, so that's the inside of my card. And then let's finish the outside. So I've got another Whisper White layer, and I've cut a few more of those toadstool pieces. And we're going to add them in the upper right here. And again, using my blending brush, I'm going to add a little bit of color here at the upper right. And we're going to add some down here in the lower right as well. Okay, let's move these out of the way and adhere the, our toadstools. And these guys remind me of Morel mushrooms with their little... Uh, segments in the top. I'm sure there are lots more that have that kind of look. And add this last little bit of multi-purpose to it. Oops. There we go. Okay, let's close up this ink and put it out of the way. And then next I want to add my, I think I want to add my snow globe to this layer. And then I want to add just a little more color to this guy. So I'm going to bring in a piece of vellum and my pool party markers. And let's start with some of the dark. And we're just going to scribble on the vellum here. And then I'm going to pick that up with my color lifter and go right down in between the eye stalks here. And then we need to let that dry a moment to see what our color looks like since um, the color lifter 
moistens that quite a bit. So we'll work down in this corner while that's drying. And I've got my sentiment. And I've also got my little heart stamp here. And I'm going to stamp a couple little hearts. Let's find that scrap paper again. And I'm going to stamp off and stamp and stamp off. Okay. Let's move this out of the way and get my mini glue dots. And we'll add those to the back here. Let's make sure that we've got this straight. Okay. And then I want to add just a little bit more of the blue in here. So I'm going to scribble again and pick up my color lifter again and add And then let's add some dimensionals to this guy. So down along the bottom, I want to add a double stack. And then let's grab the minis and we'll put them up here on the eye stalks. just go ahead and put one here okay almost done getting there so let's pull these off and position him over here and now let's add him to our card front card base before we finish embellishing. Oops. Of course you need lots of dimensionals to make sure that you've supported your layer adequately and it's not going to be saggy. that up and we'll move this glue out of the way and get ready to add the dimensionals. I'm in embellishments not dimensionals. I've got some of the whale of a time um, sequins and my take your pick with the putty end and fine tip glue pen here and let's just add a few of these to finish off this card. And I'm using the deepest blue in the sequence here. And let's pick this up and turn it over. I want the flat end on the bottom. Makes sense since it will stick more easily. And then we're going to Stick this down and let's grab one more. I've got two here, so let's get rid of that little one that's trying to tag along. Oops. Oh, 
And we'll put this one over here. And there you go. Our snail mail card. Thanks for stopping by. This was Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker of theartfulinker.com. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card making friends. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload a video. And of course, if you're in the United States, please make some of your Stampin' Up! purchases in my store. Have a great day. Bye.